In this episode, we're gonna talk about the listing generator. If you want to collect more listings, more qualified listings with the right price, you have to start thinking about your listing generator, meaning you need to talk to more sellers and you need to be able to do a very good listing presentation in getting the right listing, building the right relationship with the seller and making sure that you have qualified listings out there in the world and that you can sell more. But if you have not downloaded our business plan for 2023, quickly go to the link below. You find a link there to a landing page where you can download this beautiful workbook and get started. If this is the first video that you see about this business plan, what I would really advise you first is just go to part number one, go through all the stages because today this we are at part number five that we call the listing generator. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get started. When I got started into real estate, my mentor used to tell me, listen, your listings are your inventory. And if you don't have any inventory, you have nothing to sell. So if you need to have something to sell, you need to find more listings. And that is really where we want to talk about this part about the listing generator. And this comes really in two parts. First part, I want you to start thinking about your listing presentation upgrades for 2023. One of the things that I realize out there is that agents are kind of losing the touch and feel for a good listing presentation. That means that once you meet a potential seller and he is looking to sell his property, that you want to have the most powerful, the most impactful, the most extraordinary listing presentation. This is where you need to shine. This is where you need to show the seller that you are the right fit to sell this property. And that all comes together with a great listing presentation. And that not only comes with what you say, but also in what you show. And when you visualize a good presentation, you can show that to a seller with the right data, with the right formatting, with the right stories, with the right pictures, and really know how to impress a seller, guaranteed he will give you exclusivity at the right price. I mean, it's all about you know being enthusiastic to a seller, making sure that you are very sharp to a seller, and of course, showing that you have the authority and the experience of being the right person to sell a listing. All of that, I really want you to start thinking about your listing presentation upgrades. What are some of the things that you need to start upgrading for 2023 to make a better impact in your listing presentation? Maybe you are like, hey, these days I don't really bring anything for my seller, right? I don't show them anything. I just appear at the appointment and I just tell them a bunch of stuff. Maybe you say, next time I need to bring a book or at least a presentation, I need to bring my iPad and show them a few slides with some data. What at least I would advise you is to show next time, you know, the comparative market analysis or some company pictures or a marketing action plan. Don't only tell them, show it to them. So here you have some space in basically putting for yourself, what are some of the upgrades you wanna do for your next listing presentation, right? But how do you want to start presenting the new you in the listing presentation? How do you want to make a better impact? How, how do you want to make a better impression? Maybe you want to write something down there. You want to dress differently. You want to do some tailor upgrades. Whatever that can improve to your listing presentation so that people see you as a better authority, as a better experienced person, as somebody that has the data, that has the numbers, that can show the real deal. All of that will benefit to a better listing presentation. So this page really starts with that. What upgrades do you wanna to make to your listing presentation that will help you improve to get more listings, to get better listing, quality better listings, and that you build a better relationship with that seller. Now go ahead and do that exercise first before you go to the next part. Have you done it? Yes, promised. Have you filled it up all nicely? Okay, that brings us to the next part of this great exercise. I want you to start thinking about, okay, monthly goal listing appointments. In order to get more listings, you need more listing appointments. Would you agree? And who do you need to talk to to get more listing appointments? Huh? Who? Yeah? You got it? No? What? I didn't hear you. Sorry? Sorry? What? Yes, again, yeah. you need to talk to potential sellers, or in this case, homeowners. So you need to talk to a lot of homeowners. Talk to homeowners and say, would they be potentially interested in selling their home this year, next quarter, next half year, next year, whatever it is, the more seller calls you make, potential seller calls you make, the more chances you get to a listing appointment. 
So what I want you to do is write down how many seller calls will you make every single month. You fill it up in the first box so that you have kind of a number in your head of this is how many calls I want to make to sellers. And then from that, write down for yourself the average conversion that you have right now to those seller calls, right? So let's say for every 10 calls that you make, you get one appointment. That means that you have a 10% conversion. Maybe you have a 20% conversion. Whatever it is, write it down there. For our example, we're just gonna say that monthly, we're gonna make 100 seller calls, 100. What is great, right? So 100 seller calls. And let's just take the 10%. That means for every, uh, for every 100 calls that we make, 10% we get a listing appointment, right? So just write it down. It's really great to have those numbers on paper so you can see later on if you're really committed to the numbers that you're putting down there. So in this case, seller calls, 100, conversion 10%, and you guessed it right. That means that the total of listing appointments for us every single month, we have at least 10 listing appointments every single month. Now in your market, that might seem a little bit low. In some markets, that might seem a little bit high. Doesn't matter, this is an example. Just make sure that you customize it to your situation. If you have a certain number already from last year, from 2022, then at least upgrade that number a little bit because you have a better listing presentation. That means now that you also can have better listing appointments, so you will make more seller calls. Now in the next line, as you can see here, now you have the number of listing appointments. And again, you have the conversion. And the conversion again, you wanna see how many listing contracts can you get. Now in our case, we had 10 listing appointments and we will put in 50%. That means half from all the listing appointments that we have, we will get listings. That means that every single month, we will have five new listing contracts. What is great, if I can add five listings every single month to my list of properties that I can sell, I'm doing an amazing job. But if you have more or less, again, if it's not related to your market, find the right number that fits your market and always make sure that you up the number a little bit from your previous year. Put the numbers down there, challenge yourself, make it bigger, make it better, hold yourself accountable, and I'm sure that the numbers will get very, 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 very close. Now, the final thing that I want you to do is like this little box here, all the way at the bottom. This is your non-negotiable terms for a listing contract. Now, as you can see, I put four things in there, price, timeline, commission, and others. What I want you to do is the following. I want you to write behind every box the non-negotiable terms that you have. So I give you an example for price. Let's say that for any price in the market, you tell yourself, I'm not going to take any listing that is three, four, or 5%, doesn't matter. Let's take the example 5%, that is 5% above the market value or of the market rate. That is a non-negotiable term for you. That means that if a seller comes talk to you and he is asking you 10% above, then he is outside of your negotiation terms. You told yourself 5%. So that means this listing is non-acceptable for you. If the seller's not willing to come down, you're not gonna take this listing. What I know it seems to be a bit hard, but again, if you go through more of our trainings, you know exactly why you shouldn't take this listing. Timeline. What is your non-negotiable term for timeline? Do you need minimal three months, minimal six months, or is your market even at a point that it needs a minimum of a year contract? Whatever it is, put your non-negotiable timeline in there. Commission, a very important one. You want to put a non-negotiable term for a commission. That means if you charge 3% and you say, listen, any listing I get, I don't go lower than 3%, then that is your non-negotiable term and you put it right there right now. That is the commitment you make to yourself making it non-negotiable, and that is your term in doing well in this market. And if you have any other non-negotiable term for listings, you just put it right there. Write down those numbers, write down those terms, and commit it to yourself. Write it down, and you want to make a promise to yourself that you will upgrade your listing presentation, you will upgrade your numbers, and you will also upgrade your terms so that you're more professional, you hire your standards, and you make sure that you really show to the clients and to your sellers in this particular that you're already standing above the market. So go ahead, this is a really fun exercise if you want to do very well in getting more listings, having better listing presentations and building extraordinary relationships with your sellers. I'm really proud of you and I'm 
Really, really happy that you have come this far. What do we have for you in the next session? Well, let me tell you. In the next session, we will be talking about part number six that we talk about the 10 times 10 lead generation. You're going to talk about how you get more leads. So now we have talked about listings. We have to start talking about leads. So good luck to you and you can go see the next video.